will humans even survive the severe and harsh climatic conditions? Interplanetary travel is an age-old fantasy of mankind. Humans have long sought to establish life on Mars, the red planet, and call it their home. With the recent progress in technology, this dream is now turning into a reality. However, the debate that whether or not humans can even survive in another dimension is still ongoing. Is Mars a planet suitable to inhabit human beings? Can its environment facilitate humanity and life? Stay till the end of this video to learn more. Elon Reeve Musk is known for his unconventional ways, peculiar ideas, and unique talent to bridge the line between fantasy and reality. The self-made billionaire is the CEO of several globally successful multinational businesses that happen to be at the top of their respective fields. It's no secret that this South African business tycoon has had his eyes set on Mars for quite some time. Musk's infatuation and obsession with the idea of making humankind an interplanetary species led to the establishment of his latest venture, SpaceX. In 2002, he founded this company with a single goal in mind, to make the far-fetched dream of living on Mars a reality. SpaceX is now a world-renowned aerospace manufacturer and space exploration company with its headquarters in Hawthorne, California. With the latest and more sophisticated technologies, they are the leading producers of space travel vehicles worldwide. Through this venture, Musk intends to reduce space transportation costs ease interplanetary travel, and make the concept of colonization on Mars by human beings become an actual possibility. The thought of calling the red planet your home might be intriguing, but learning to survive in a place with limited means and adapting to an entirely new environment is not an easy task. The first individuals to inhabit Mars are bound to face unexpected challenges and deal with highly harsh situations. Musk himself has always been vocal about the the enormous risks involved with interplanetary travel. He tweeted that the journey to Mars will be a long and uncomfortable ride. Chances are, those who go might not even make it back. Several things could go south. Firstly, Musk plans to send people to Mars on a spaceship strapped to the biggest rocket mankind has ever seen. Launching the rocket into space requires a massive, well-controlled explosion. No matter how many tests are conducted, one can never be 100% sure of how this event will go. The slightest mishap could lead to fatal circumstances. The danger doesn't get any less after a successful launch. After you've blasted off into space, travelled for six months, made it across the solar system, you will eventually reach your destination, the red planet. Since the spaceship travels at 62,000 miles an hour, landing safely on the planet's surface is another difficult task. There are significant chances of the vehicle crashing crashing as it lands, owing to the thin atmosphere, zero gravity, and low friction. Another risk factor is the high levels of radioactivity in space. The space isn't empty, it contains large quantities of radioactive particles emitted by the sun and stars. On Earth, we humans are protected from this harmful UV and cosmic radiation due to a magnetosphere and an ozone layer. But once the rocket leaves Earth, the individuals aboard are bound to be exposed to much larger quantities of radiation. What could worsen this situation is an unexpected solar flare. Solar eruptions are entirely unpredictable and can cause severe damage to the spacecraft and its passengers, if it happens to be in the way while this event occurs. The list of potential dangers doesn't end there. Unlike Earth, Mars is a cold, desolate planet with a much lower temperature owing to the presence of several ice caps. The planet also has has no gravity due to the lack of a magnetosphere. Thus, the strong solar winds easily strip away the atmosphere and surrounding water vapours, leaving the place dry and primarily inhabitable. Mars also has low quantities of CO2 and oxygen gases, both of which are essential for any form of life to exist or thrive. An additional significant concern is the fact that Mars has shallow levels of gravity. This can have major adverse effects on your bones and muscles. It is known that in zero gravity, the human body suffers from extreme muscle loss.
loss and the bone slowly starts losing calcium. When your bones are weak and brittle, even the smallest of injuries can have drastic effects. Astronauts have also reported having major insomnia and difficulty sleeping while in low gravity environments. Mars periodically has intense sandstorms that last for days and weeks at a time. You don't want to be caught off guard outside during one of these storms. In this unforgivable environment, even the smallest of accidents and mishaps can lead to fatal consequences. A small tear in your spacesuit or a break in the habitat can expose you to the dirt-filled Martian air, which can cause several extensive respiratory disorders. All those toxic particles flying around could clog the door seals, accumulate on the solar panels, and mess up with the machinery setup, depriving astronauts of power for long periods. There are rumours that Musk plans to alter the Red Planet's environment according to humankind's needs by nuking it. Yes, you heard that right. Musk intends to bombard Mars with thousands of nuclear warheads in an attempt to terraform it. Detonating nukes at the planet's poles will cause the ice caps to melt and evaporate, releasing water vapours and CO2 into the Martian atmosphere. This will establish a runaway greenhouse effect. CO2 and other greenhouse gases will also help increase heat, thereby making the temperature slightly warmer and more human friendly. This is another one of Musk's unconventional and unorthodox ideas that has received a lot of criticism. Although in theory this plan should work, but the results would only last temporarily, and in the long run we might end up doing more harm than good. The Martian atmosphere is already laden with harmful radiation, and blasting off the world's largest nuclear warheads will only add to the problem. The radiation is likely to seep into the soil, water, water and air, making the environment 10 times more toxic and radioactive than it was before. Long-term exposure to such an environment can lead to several health disorders like thyroid gland dysfunction. If left untreated, these conditions can lead to one's death. Moreover, the lack of protective layers or barriers around the planet allows the sun's scorching heat to disintegrate the atmosphere directly. The water vapours and gases that are likely to be produced due to these explosions would eventually condense out from the atmosphere, returning it back to its initial state, in other words. Just like an initial expedition in human history, the journey to Mars comes with its risks. Anyone who plans to go needs to be prepared that chances are they may never reach there or be able to come back. Although there are several dangers involved and the environment is extremely hostile, these factors shouldn't be a reason to halt this mission. Regardless of the risks, we know that this journey will be worthwhile. After all, one of the most remarkable qualities that humans possess is their innate curiosity and the will to learn more. Through this determination, humanity has reached the moon, searched the depths of the ocean, and developed unrealistically advanced technologies.